What's up everybody? Polius here for some more Let's Play Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. Uh, Jason is out today because of um, dental surgery. He's just not feeling up for it. So I'm going to go ahead and go on with some recording, make sure I have a healthy backlog. Um, this time, or actually last time, we fought Omnitron 2 and he kicked our butts. So we fought him again and we won. Great vengeance. And they knew our name was the Sentinels and whoever else I played for that. This time, we're going to go with a recommended uh, hero combination uh, from viewer Lunaria. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She proposed a way to make heroes basically immune to damage. The combination requires the Sentinels for Mainstay's power, which is uh, all Sentinels take minus one damage, and for his Human Shield card, where you redirect all damage to him and add that add to that his Durasteel Chains, and you have a person already with two armor. Well, let's give him somebody who can give him three more armor, in the form of Captain Cosmic. Captain Cosmic has those uh, shielding energy cards, or whatever they are, that give you, sorry, which give you three more armor total when you play all three. So one each. Sorry, that was... Then we add Tempest, because Tempest is hilarious. He has healing, which brings everyone back up to full... He has a lot of powers, which go well with Captain Cosmic, and he has shielding winds. So even if um, Mainstay were to take six damage, which would be enough to make him take one damage each time, shielding winds would reduce that by two first. And make sure that we get all these cards, we do have to play Team Leader Tachyon. It's probably one of the best just base powers in the game. Now then, we're actually starting to run out of villains to fight, because we don't want to fight a villain who doesn't do... who... Um, is who does a lot of irreductible damage like Iron Legacy, who I will be fighting soon. Um, we're instead we're going to fight. Um, you know, we're going to go with one of my personal favorites. I like fighting Apostate. I know we fought him before, but he is just so much fun to fight. It's so satisfying having to deal with all of his armor. We're going to go with Apostate. Um, and for our uh, build, or our map, let's fight in, again, to make this work, we're going to go Temple of Sulong. This gives the heroes a lot of draw power. Uh, no, let's give, let's give Apostate a bit of an advantage. We'll do mobile, oh no, I just did that one. Temple of Sulong. I need to be more decisive, I think. Is that the full team? I think that's the full team. Yeah. We're good. The world is as I say it is. Believe in my truths. Believe in me. We've heard Team Layer Tachyon. So, we start off, of course, with condemnation. Oh, I forgot to read Apostate's thing. Okay, Infernal Embassy at the start of the game. Apostate enters play. Infernal Emissary side up. I say Infernal Embassy. Condemnation is put into play. The villain deck is shuffled. When Apostate would be destroyed if, um, and there is a villain relic in play, the villain relic with the lowest HP is destroyed. Apostate's villain character card flips to the Dark Corruptor side instead. At the end of the villain turn, Apostate deals the hero target with the highest HP, two melee, and two infernal damage. Oh no! <laughs> it's a malediction. Ugh. So when, uh, reduce damage to relics by two, and when it's destroyed, move four demons into play. Well, that's unfortunate. So did he, he did hit Tachyon. Oh, buddy. You screwed up. Supersonic response. Pow! Extra damage because Tachyon's been hit. Now, Tachyon, have everyone draw cards. Sucker Punch, Destructive Response, Positive Energy, and Stratosphere. Synaptic Interruption is another good one. Alright, so we did not get any of the cards that we wanted to begin with here. And we didn't for Mainstay. Alright. Grievous Hailstorm is nice. So we actually are kind of out of luck for some of the some of the combos that I was hoping to do. I just realized Return to the, into the Stratosphere is terrible for uh, Tempest right now. Um... So let's think about that. Let's go ahead and go with the Sustained Influence. 
So if this, uh, whenever a construct would be destroyed, this can um, save it or be destroyed in, it, in its place. We've got conservation of energy. I'll put that in hand. There's, I mean, I got no constructs to destroy yet. All right. So we really can't hit a whole bunch of targets right now. Oh, we had Caliganus form though. Let's go ahead and get that out there. And let's just hit apostate. I mean, we can't hit condemnation. So we'll get we'll get this going though. Grievous hailstorm, why not? And no damage. Oof. Gene bound shackles. So that's that's a nice card. So we have the Apprentice Poisoner. So we're, um, the lowest three hit point targets are gonna take one toxic damage each. No, Idealist. No. Relic Spirit. Oh, that's annoying. All right, so Relic Spirit heals each uh, relic one by one, and if it's destroyed, then move three relics from trash into play. Now's a good time to get rid of it, actually. Um, but for now, we're going to play Synaptic Interruption, just so that, that damage... I thought I actually had it. Fleet of Foot! Thank you! Human Shield! But we're not quite ready for Human Shield to be active yet. No, we are not. Let's go ahead and go with Cosmic Weapon for Tempest, because he doesn't have any good single target damage. And Reveal, what do we have? Construct Cataclysm, destroy all constructs um, that either deal... Oh, I'm going to keep that in my hand. So either one target takes X, uh, the number of constructs that were destroyed energy damage, or that number of constructs destroyed takes... Uh, deals one X. So if I have nine constructs, I'm either dealing nine irreductible damage or one target, nine targets, one irreductible damage. Put that in hand. There's a bunch of cards that we want to not want to do that to. All right, not quite ready for. I just don't have a great hand. This is actually kind of amazing. So we're gonna play Dark Delusions. Just it's, it's a bit of extra damage to all villain targets. And you know what? Let's go ahead and hit the Relic Spirit now. We're gonna have plenty of time. I think I have some. I do have ongoing destruction, so Apocalypse is not going to hurt me. But we do need Durasteel Chains. So let's start with. Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna go with uh, Chain Lightning. I'm gonna hit Apostate for four. Uh, that's gonna deal each non environment target one toxic damage, huh? Alright. Um, hit the Relic Spirit for three. And uh, condemnation for none. And we're gonna grievous hailstorm. So that gets rid of the relic spirit nicely, without it doing annoying things. Master of the temple. Oh no. So everything's being dealt damage. And then the true form appears. So it's gonna deal uh, one toxic and radiant damage to everything. Including the sword, but that's fine. I'm not. I'm not wedded to the sword. Thankfully, I did a uh, mainstays thing, and then the true form does damage. Oh, come on, profane summons. So true form, of course, does three radiant, three toxic damage to the non-environment target with the second highest HP, which I think was tact. Uh, no, it was um, it was Hugh? It was Captain Cosmic. Paragraph of Woe. So, Gauntlet of Perdition. Gauntlet of Perdition. So Periapt of Woe increases the damage that fin Apostate deals by one, and this card takes two less damage, so it is immune to damage essentially. Oof. Alright, so we are dealing we're receiving three damage. Let's go ahead and hit Apostate with that. Periapt of Woe will increase the damage. And then his gauntlets will hit him as a result. Fleet of foot, please. Synaptic interruption, wounding buffer, Hippocratic Oath, Vicious Cyclone. I have to play a card. Don't really have a means of... Do I have... 
Okay, I can enter the stratosphere. That wouldn't do anything for us. Hmm. I'm actually kind of in a rough position. Well, she has the most hit points, so... Synaptic Interruption. And draw a card. Unique capabilities, that's nice. Another fleet of foot. Okay. For Hugh, we are going to play... Um... We're actually going to go with a Wounding Buffer. Uh, we're going to give it to uh, Mainstay. And then we're going to see what we can play. Come on, come on, come on. Cosmic Crest is really good, but not what I wanted. Oh, come on. I'm just not getting the cards I need. All right. Um, unique Capabilities. Durasteel Chains. Drew a blackout. Well, let's play Human Shield. Let's play Human Shield with me, Polius. All right, and we are in tank mode now. Aquatic Correspondence would draw three cards, but that really wouldn't help us at the moment. I don't think. You know what? We're gonna do it. End of the Stratosphere. Grievous Hailstorm. Localized Hurricane. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hit everything. Because we're at the point where we can redirect all the poisoner's damage. So that'll be good. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Yes. Alright, uh, this is productive. So this is going to be a little while. So, there we go. Uh, Rites of Ritual, or Revival, that's useful, so we can restore a hero's hit points. There we go, Apostate. Um, we're resisting... You know what? Yes. So he takes one and deals the damage. Um, so if we discard enough cards, then we can actually restore an incapacitated hero to eight hit points. But they can't damage the environment. We're not going to do anything with that yet. Ah, oh, Remorseless Provocation. So that'd be three damage. Um, yeah, oh, four damage. Oh, Yes. He's going to take it because it, it counters the damage. Oh, come on. Yes, take it. Right. Um, I mean... To team leader attack, go ahead and tank it again. Um, redirect the three melee damage. Yes. Mostly because it'll block the Gauntlet's Perdition. All right, so we're actually in a really rough spot here, guys. Uh, oh no, no, I, I don't want to play that. Play a card. Uh, how many do I have? Four burst cards. That is not enough. All right, I have a plan. So, because whenever player draws a card, hero draws a card, uh, play the top card of the villain deck. When this card is destroyed, search the villain trash for condemnation, put it into play. So what we're going to do, uh, we just don't have enough damage because of the uh, the, the periapt of woe is, or not the periapt of woe, the, the runes of malediction are just blocking all the damage we are, we, we'd be dealing. So I can at least, however, make it so that Apostate, who is the source of all damage in the world, and the true form aren't dealing damage. We're going to skip her power phase, though. Um, no. Not yet. Alright, Hugh, what can you do? Um, I'm going to play this on Mainstay. We're going to use this power. Real top card of a deck. Put it into play. Uh, put that into play, but give it to... Mainstay, I think. No, we're going to give it to Tachyon. Do I want to draw a card? No. Just haven't been able to deal damage. 
Do I want to discard two cards? Kind of have to. Lock out. Oh, nice. So we're not going to lose that. Um, Dark Delusion is nice, but it's just not going to hit any of those things yet. Um, same with Telekinetic Wallet. Well, Telekinetic Wallet will do some work, but it's just not, not enough. Now we're going to get rid of Second Chance. Risky, I know. All right, we're going to... Come on. We're going to get rid of a uh, Dark Delusions for now. All right, and we will play Blackout. So who's going to deal the damage? Uh, it's got to be Wraith. So if we hit Apostate... Oh, shoot, right, right, I forgot. Play a card. So we're not going to do that. Um, we're actually going to skip both their turns. Yes, draw a card. Oh, no, oh, come on. I keep forgetting about that. So use a power. I was going to skip turn, draw two cards, because then we would um, have more cards to discard. But I think we're just going to bite the bullet and draw a card. Fallen Angel, so he's not dealing any damage. And then the Relics regain hit points, which is fine, because they weren't damaged to begin with. That wasn't so bad. Alright, for Tempest. Alright, so you, you gotta deal something, buddy. Oh wait, I have Lightning Slash. Yes! Yes! Go away! Nobody loves you! Oh no. The Orb of Delirium, I totally forgot about it. Oh no. Well, that's frustrating. No, not yet. Shinobi Assassin is gonna deal three damage. Yes, I wanna redirect that to mainstay. Oh god. Oh no. I don't want to redirect that to mainstay. Because then the assassin will go on top of our deck. So yeah, I just, I lose the sword. Oh, that's not the button I meant to push. I'm tilting hard here. No, I don't want to redirect it to mainstay. Um. Yeah, sure. Who gets it? Tempest gets it. Alright, skip that. Alright, Fiendish Pugilist is going to deal damage, but it's it's a three damage? Ah, alright, we'll take it. Yeah, one damage and you took four. That wasn't a good trade now, was it? Ugh. I've got four burst cards, so that's two damage to the uh, Orb of Delirium. I gotta. Skip her power. No. Destroy one construct card. If you do, one target takes one damage equal to the HP of the destroy. Okay. We're going to lose the sword for now. Actually, we're going to lose the siphon. That's never going to see much use. And that's, that's some more damage. And... Play a card, please get... Oh, come on. In play. Who's this one? Is that with Wraith? Oh, well. I mean, sure. He gets rid of the orb. No. See, the trick is, you don't have to draw a card at the end of your turn. Discard two cards. Yes. Alright, so we gotta get rid of the wallop. Get rid of a burst. Okay, blackout. Wraith deals the damage to apostate. Venus Pugilist does reduce the damage, but the point is apostate is now dealing three damage to everything. It is naturally reducing some elements. Um Go ahead and have uh, Captain Cosmic take it. 
All right, so that was that was useful. Um, I need them to. Telekinetic wallop, apocalypse. Oh no. That's the exact opposite. Oh, oh yes, we have ball lightning. Ah, ha ha, ah, ha ha. So we destroy the tome. <laughs> we destroy apocalypse. Yes. Uh, skip the rest. Oh, I can't believe that. I cannot believe it. All right, victory, hailstorm. So Apocalypse would have destroyed everything, except for relics, at the start of the environment turn. Mysterious Ceremonies. Who gets to draw cards? Oh, first of all, yes, Mainstay's going to take that. Let's get rid, gets rid of the dragon. All right, um, we're going to skip that. The, the Ceremonies are going to happen, and we're going to have... Actually, we're going to have Cosmic draw the cards. Draw three cards. Yes. Uh, he's going to deal the damage to the gauntlet. Sure. Sustain influence and flagging animation and just absolutely none of... The, oh, no. So the this is, at the end of the turn, destroy as, as many hero ongoing or equipment cards as the number of imp pilfers in play. Uh, redirect. Yes. So he takes four damage and then the gauntlet activates. Um, re oh no, he is super low. Don't redirect that. Uh, Captain Cosmic. Uh, yeah, we gotta... Mostly because it blocks the gauntlet damage. So we have to destroy one of these. Let's get rid of the Hailstorm. Alright, Fleet of Foot. Finally. HUD goggles. Unique capabilities. Okay, we're getting some good stuff here finally. Um... Doesn't have anything that can be destroyed yet. But we do have an accelerated assault, which I will take. And it hits the imp pilfer. That's always, always to the public good. All right, dynamic siphon. Just I'm, what is in this man's deck? Nineteen cards left. Three of them are the the shields I'm looking for, or the energy basers. Come on. Alright, well, let's get another Wounding Buffer on Mainstay. And reveal the top card of the deck. Augmented Ally, put that in play, but give it to Tempest. Alright, Vitality Conduit would be really nice if I could gar reliably guarantee that the Ninja... No, it's going to be hitting the gauntlet now. Darn it. Um, yes. Telekinetic Wallop has to go. And uh, Dark Delusions has to go. Alright, so we start off with Unique Capabilities because it's free. And that gives us Team Communication, which refills our hand. Yes. Which gives us... Oh, okay, Team Communication. Alright, well, if you insist team communication. <laughs> okay. Remember when I had hand problems with these guys? Not anymore. So we're going to play a card. Let's play um... Oh, i got to play Hippocratic Oath. And reduce damage to the Sentinels. That said, people are going to have to take damage this turn, because Mainstay just... He can't hack it anymore. It'll be fine. They'll be fine. Alright, Augmented Ally, discard a card. Into the Stratosphere is useless. Which means that we can hit everything for one damage. I mean, it's not great. I won't pretend it's great. I do have to destroy that Imp Pilferer. So I think what we're going to do... I'm going to just localize Hurricane. Yeah. You take that. You take that. Now give me cards. Vicious Cyclone. Elemental Shield Thingy. There it is. Shielding Winds. Fantastic. Master of the Temple. Crap. So Apprentice Poisoner is going to hit. Um, so we're going to skip. Alright, so we need to draw three cards. Right? Or do we want to play cards? Do I have any... I could keep the dragon from appearing. 
But no, I need to save Blinding Speed for when another when his other apocalypse appears. Because he only has nine cards left. So that's gonna happen. So what we're gonna do. Uh, the Sentinels would get to play uh, Blackout. Oh, it's playing in the darkness, four damage. Wouldn't be enough. Could play Blackout, which would not be super ideal. We need to actually heal Mainstay a lot. Captain Cosmic, draw three cards. Cosmic Crest, Autonomous Blade. Okay, I feel like I made the right choice. So, the heroes are going to absorb that because of Human Shield and all of, Tem all of Mainstay's armor. And I still haven't gotten any of those bracers. This is magnificently unlucky. Like I said, people are going to have to just take the damage this turn. Mainstay's not in a position where he can be taking a bunch of damage. Also, I haven't gotten any uh, cleansing downpours, which is another fairly amazing oversight on, on Lady Lux's part. Alright, uh, third lowest hit points. Oh, and I did, I got rid of the siphon. Of course I did. Um, this one is... It has less hit points than the, the constructs. Um, apostate, you actually have the second highest hit points. Fiendish Pugilist. Ugh. Uh, no. Yes. I forgot that I could do this. Uh, no. No. Yes. Yes. All right, there we go. Fetish Pugilist. And it would, went after Wraith, who uh, reduced it with Caligonus form, so we're good. All right. Um, you know Nimble Strike, let's see what we draw. Um, not going to hurt anything if I don't hit the Pugilist, so... Oh, yeah, let's play Fleet of Foot. Lightspeed Barrage is great. Cosmic Weapon is not what I want. Is, I, I'm... A little disappointed. Uh, that's seven cards. You know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna hit this thing for three damage. Well, no. We're gonna hit this thing. Except as soon as I do that, this will survive. Search for runes and maledictions. So I have to destroy this. All right. Everyone, draw more cards. Please get the bracer. Vitality conduit. Really? All right. I'm gonna put a vitality conduit on mainstay. Actually, you know what? Where is it? Um. Uh, this one. Draw or play number of construct cards. No. No, let's just put the conduit on mainstay. There we go. So he can start healing. Let the healing begin. Oh, there it is. Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. Alright, I have to uh, discard two cards. Uh, fling in... Do I want... But fling into darkness. That's uh, four fewer hit points. We're going to save a fling into darkness. We're going to save a good hero, bad hero. And a horrifying dichotomy. Um, let's get rid of a second chance and a sentinel tactics. Um, go ahead and have the sentinels... Oh, no. Catch a cosmic. Draw a card. That's not what I wanted. All right, buddy. First of all, I've got all of them. The only one I don't have is Sentinel Tactics out. But we could fling into darkness the, uh... The Runes of Malediction. Yeah. So, just to make sure I get the numbers right here. 
I also get rid of, uh, I could not get rid of the Periapto Flow. Then I can get rid of these stupid, stupid runes. And Pilfer, oh no, I forgot all about this. Alright, um, I forgot that happens. Play a card. Uh, you, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna... We're gonna do good hero, bad hero. We gain three hit points. The mainstay is gonna um, hit apostate. See, my problem is I gotta get rid of some of the gloves. Actually, this is this has been an interesting experiment here, and I mean successful in that it is showing off just how resilient mainstay can be with the right team. So I'm discarding, I've got two shielding wins. Let's get rid of a vicious cyclone though. Um, to use this one. Oh no, I, no, no, I don't want to destroy it. Oh, where's that pugilist? Get it for five. And hit one of the gauntlets for one. Sure. Cleansing down four. Yes. Let the healing begin. Just choose for me. Oh, that feels good. That feels really good. So we're getting we're getting some healing in here. And good flash flood. I can get rid of some of those more frustrating cards. Okay. So kill the pugilist, Mister Ninja Assassin Man. Don't want to discard cards. No, I really don't need to. Who wants to play cards though? Not that. Uh, you don't have any of the cards I'm looking for, do you? Tachyon doesn't really either. So, really I should have Hugh drawing more cards. Captain Cosmic, draw three cards. Augmented Ally, Augmented Ally, thank you! Uh, second lowest hit points. Vitality Conduit! Third lowest hit points. Uh, the Bracer. She's for me. No. He'll, he'll mainstay back up. It's the second highest hit points. Uh, Wraith does, because I can just block it. Uh, redirect the three tox damage. It doesn't matter. Wait. Oh, it's only once. Oh, okay, end of turn. Skip. Um, Captain Cosmic. I'm not going to change any of the things that involve chance. I just forgot about the, uh, the once per turn thing. So, heal. No, do no harm. Nope. Uh, Wraith. So he blocks the first bit, but then I do have to redirect. But I block it all because I finally got energy bracers. And now everything deals damage before the uh, Master of the Temple gets destroyed. But that's alright. We're doing fine here. And this is this is a really good build. I'll go ahead and start doing this talk now. This is a really good build for when you're, you're having trouble with a certain villain who's just dealing too much damage. It's actually a really good Plague Rat killer. Um, yeah, I want to redirect that. Because uh, Plague Rat is, you know, one of those villains, it's damage race. And this turns that race into a thing that isn't racing. It, it solves a lot of the problems that you would have with this sort of, with, with a, a, a high damage villain. Yeah. Just gonna redirect everything. We have a human shield here. Apocalypse. Oh no, not an apocalypse. Redirect it to mainstay. Yes. Redirect it to mainstay. Yes. Redirect it all to mainstay. <laughs> oh, he flips. And that destroyed one of his. Which one did it destroy? Uh, the one with the um, lowest HP, so it destroyed one of his gauntlets. Okay. 
Uh, redirect to main state. Yes. See, now he'd be dealing damage to the target with the lowest hit points. So, Dark Corruptor. One flip to this side, restore him to 20 hit points. When apostate would be reduced to zero or fewer hit points, and there is a villain relic in play. The villain relic with the highest HP is destroyed, and apostate's villain character card flips to the infernal emissary side up. So it's basically as you're hitting him with these big blasts of energy and whatnot, that would take him out. He's able to hold up one of these ancient relics to defend himself. At the end of the villain turn, uh, the hero target, he deals the hero target at the lowest hit points, two melee damage, then regains six hit points. But it would, it's still increased by the periaps. Alright, blinding speed. Destroy apocalypse. Pushing the limits. Um, you know what, just to speed things along, hypersonic assault. Um, put it on Tachyon's deck because she's going to be drawing a million cards anyway. Speaking of, Tachyon, draw a million cards. Yes. Ha 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 ha! Autonomous Blade, Human Shield, Electrical Storm. It's the end of her turn. Push the limits, Synaptic Interruption. Alright, buddy. I know you got one. Where is it? Where is it? Energy Bracer. This guy's just like this glowing beacon of, I'm not going to let you touch my friends. All right, restore the Vitality Conduit back to full. Um, and none of the others need it, so there we go. Unflagging an animation. All right, do I want to discard two cards? Funny, I actually do. Second chance is no longer necessary. Um, don't, I'll save that human shield. Uh, fling into darkness is fantastic. We're gonna get rid of this. Uh, have the Sentinels draw a card though. Just because, you know, they, they do need more cards in hand. Uh, as for a card to play, we're gonna get Sentinel Tactics out now. Just so I can actually start doing things other than being a tank. Alright, there we go. Uh, regaining hit points. Mainstay. Cosmic. And Tachyon. I got it mixed up. It happens. Discard a card. Um, there's... I mean... Meh. I don't need it. I'm super tanky. Everyone heal! Oh, everything's just... I actually took a screenshot. Now I'll remember this forever. Oh, also I'm recording. I guess I'll remember it forever anyway. Well, let's go ahead and get... Um, Gene Bound Shackles out. Look less hurricane. Hit apostate. Hit the terrible gauntlet. Actually, yeah, yeah, hit the gauntlet. Kind of want apostate to go through his hand. Or at least get more more cards in the discard pile. Mysterious ceremonies, okay. So another master of the temple. That's going to be a little obnoxious, but, you know, we'll deal with it. Um, Captain Cosmic, draw three cards. There it is. There it is. Finally. Uh, Captain Cosmic. Play a card. Where is it? Energy Bracer. Mainstay is now immortal. All right, and no damage was dealt be because of Hypersonic Assault. Oh, come on. Really? Sir, that was unnecessary. I, I do firmly protest. Yeah. Uh, no. I can take this damage. I firmly protest the actions you have just performed here today. Let's go ahead and play Nimble Strike first. Hit him. Quick Insight. Why the heck not? Quick Insight. Draw some cards. Um... Sucker Punch actually is really great. I don't need Synaptic Disruption, though. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this so I can play one more card. An Nimble Strike. Hit Apostate. Oh, there's a Hypersonic Assault. Okay. Sucker Punch. Autonomous Blade. Unique Capabilities. Localized Hurricane. Alright, and just a million more cards. Alright, Hugh. Let's see what we can get here. I think... Hmm. Go ahead and play this. 
I mean, he's got some in his trash. He also has, I have his entire deck in my hand. Of course I do. Um, no, actually. I want him to deal one, one, no. I want him to take that. Discard two cards, yes. All right, um, I actually don't need unique capabilities. And uh, Fleet of Darkness is actually a card I really want. So, do this. Um, Sentinels, go ahead and draw a card. Alright. Blackout. Wraith. Hit. Apostate. Oh, Insta. Why don't you reduce damage? Alright, now Apostate's going to be dealing all of his own stuff damage. Alright, and then everything takes more damage. I didn't think about this. This might take a while. So, what we have here is the classic advantage of a card game over the, uh, over the um, computer version. The card game can be like, okay, skip this part. And that is one of the parts that the reasons why I still play this version as a card game. Also, it's kind of hard to huddle around my computer. My desk area is, is not that great. It's not that set up. One of the things I'm going to play, side note, um, one of the cards I'm playing next, next chance I get, absolutely going to be um, some means. I'll go ahead and go and we don't, Cosmic don't need cards no more. All right, I need to play some cards that let me use more powers. Let's go with Idealist. We need to deal damage. All right, yes. Shuffle the deck and draw a new card. Unique capabilities, uh, sure. Why the heck not? All right, yeah, now it is time to start doing some serious damage. So discard a card. I don't need this for defense. Um, cleansing Downpour. Choose for me. Just to make sure that all those prices we've been paying will be paid in full. Alright. Um, go Chain Lightning, Lightning Slash. But I think Vicious Cyclone on Apostate is the way to go. And then Localized Hurricane. That's 5 damage. And then... Is it 5? Because of Genebound Shackles, right? And then the other target will be the Gauntlet. There we go. Ball Lightning. Great, so we've got plenty of ongoing destruction. Hey, Shinobi Assassin. The Resurrection Ritual. Oh! Right! This also breaks apostate. Whenever a non-character card, villain target, is destroyed, put it under this card. In the environment form, if uh, the true form, or Shu Long, is in play, Put the bottom card under this card into play. When this card is destroyed, put all cards under this card into the villain trash. So, uh, yeah, we've got the true form out now, but, um, let's see, let's go ahead and have the Sentinels play a card. We're gonna play, um, This, whenever this is destroyed, move four demon cards from the villain trash into play. Coordinated assault would be five damages. Let's play any capabilities. Just me draw a card that, that didn't quite help the way I wanted. Um, let's just do coordinated assault then. I have mainstay deal the damage. And it will be actually to the periapt. Uh, and that lets the hero use a power. So we'll have the idealist hit. Um... Wait, I can't hit because of the runes. So we'll just hit uh, apostate and redirect all the damage because mainstay is freaking immortal now. Look at that. Um, uh, 
Uh, Tempest has, or Tachyon has plenty of cards to play. Let's have the Sentinels just draw three cards. Okay! I'm not going to run out of cards at all. They're lowest hit points. Um, it's not going to matter. Choose for me. None of that damage is actually going to uh, apply. So Fallen Angel... Oh, come on. He's gonna... Every villain relic regains five hit points. Oh, man. I totally forgot that he still had those in his deck. Yes, redirect. Uh, redirect. Redirect. Is it each hero target? Is, is that what this is? Yes. Okay. Okay. This is fantastic. It's going to be a long episode, but, you know, watch it in parts if, if you've got other stuff to do. I, w I wouldn't be offended. This is kind of meant to be a, a little fun side, side diversion of, you know, call this ways to, ways to break the game with Polius. Uh, Caligonous form. So it redirected it to the sword, which just reduced it to zero. Okay. Well, yeah, that's going to happen. And then all of my hard work was the lowest hit points, the conduit, sure. I'll redirect. Oh, look at that. It's fine. It's <laughs> still fine. Uh, yes. No. Take two damage. I just, I don't, I don't have enough cards to play. jerk. So close to getting rid of your, your, your parry apps. That would have meant a lot to me. Just get punched. A lot. Actually, you know what? We're going to play this. We're going to get these out. For the reason that I want to make sure these are damaged. I also want to get rid of the dragon. Stop dealing damage. Play another one! Hit him. Hit them! So now those things do have the lowest hit points. The ninjas are going to hit the, um... Oh, okay, use power. I was say, do I have more I can do? Uh, the ninjas are going to hit uh, the gauntlets first, and that was entirely the plan. Put disruption, coordinated assault, chain lightning. Okay. Good cards. Good cards all. Do I not have any more... Um, I do have one more lightspeed barrage. You know, I'll destroy unflagging animation. No. I, I actually don't need to. So the card that I really want to play is Dynamic Siphon. And I want to play that on... Not Mainstay. I want to play it on the Idealist, I think. Yes. Um, what's he got? Yeah, we'll do this. Reveals a potent disruption, destroy one construct card, put it in play... Destroy. These are absolutely useless now. I'm going to deal five damage to one of these suckers. That's only one damage. Arr. Get rid of the runes. Alright. Um, no, I don't want to redirect the psychic damage. He needs to take it or that thing gets destroyed. Yes! Oh no, I have to discard cards. Whatever will I do? Um, go ahead and have Tachyon draw a card. Lightning Reflexes. If she had cards to play, that would be great. Team Communication. Draw a bunch of cards. And now I will not ever have to worry about having cards in my hand again. Which means I should actually be doing, um, with the Mysterious Ceremonies, having these guys play their, play their cards. All right, I'm not going to waste time playing Unique Capability. We're going to play Blackout. 
We're going to have Wraith deal the damage to Apostate, which lets... Let's go ahead and just have Mainstay do this. What? I'm... I'm not gonna not gonna worry about it. Oh right, he can't deal any damage. Well, that was silliness. All right, we'll be fine. You'll see. Um, go ahead and restore Tachyon. Go ahead and restore Cosmic. Go ahead and restore Tempest. The reason why we're gonna be fine is because we're gonna discard a card. We're gonna discard a Hailstorm to use. Localized Hurricane. And it's actually going to destroy the runes. But the runes... That's going to bring back all these terrible things. It will. The worst of them is the Empilferer. Which I happen to see... Foresee dying instantly. Or I could just... You know... The, the, we're going to be fine. This is too food just puke lists out. Let's just kill the pill the, the pilfer. And that lets him draw two cards. Alright. Uh step two is Oh no, I have to discard cards for the localized hurricane. Okay. One, two, uh stop because I, I just needed one. Right, right, right. Um Wait a minute. Oh, he doesn't have the most hit points anymore. Right. Okay. This one's going to be funny. And I'm actually going to get this right this time. Can you, uh, so I'm going to deal each target two damage. So I'm going to hit the Fiendish Pugilist. Oh, right. Condemnation has the most hit points. Alright, so just choose for me then. I did not get the math right. Um, give it to Cosmic. Alright, so that got rid of the dragon. So we're just stocking stuff up into the resurrection ritual now. Of course, the Master of the Temple gets out. Alright, well... Okay, so skip this, right, right. Tempest, play a card. Flash Flood. I don't want to see that dragon out there. I'm done with him. Done, I tell ya! Uh, Sentinels, play a card. Uh, they can't deal any damage yet, so... Telekinetic Wallop. Deals up to three targets, one damage. Uh, we're gonna do Dark Delusions, I think. Yeah. That's not going to do very much damage to anything. Uh, so... Telekinetic Wallop it is. So the Idealist is going to turn that into 3 damage, and it'll let us hit the Pugilist. Um... Let the idealist hit this pugilist again. That kills the pugilist, which means that we can now reduce the damage that which makes it easier to hit apostate. Alright, Sentinels, play another card. Play a card. Um Blackout. So Wraith is gonna deal one damage to apostate, which flips him. And then he deals. Oh, right, now the Poisoners did... It, I just skipped past literally all the damage that... Apo yes, I did. Right, no, he wasn't... Oh, I keep doing that! I, I need to finish this up. Uh, third lowest hit points. Dynamic Siphon. First target to be dealt damage. Oh, just choose for me. Destroys that. Oh, I should not... Um, no. Let's one of the Sentinels do some... Something... Um, sure. I need to give them more more abilities to use, given all that. And Pilferer. 
So Impilfer is going to destroy one of our cards. Oh no! Not one of our cards! Why, that's... That's the worst thing ever. Alright, uh, yeah, take the damage. What's it matter? So, I just, she literally has nothing. Let's get rid of these. And get rid of this. Lightspeed Barrage. Who can I hit for literally all the damage? I can hit the Periapt. Yes, I can hit the Periapt. Alright, um... Is there a poisoner out? There is. We win. Blinding speed on the poisoner. Hit apostate. So, that was a marathon. But, again, it's a good way to show if you're having trouble, if you want to have fun with making people not do any damage, this is the way to go about it. Other heroes that work with that are Legacy, and he doesn't need Tempest because he already has superhuman durability. And, um... The Naturalist, though the Naturalist has uh, less ability to redirect damage. This has been Polius playing Let's Play Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. I'll see you all next time.